look, it's swirling and whirling and that's a cyclone in a bottle. <laughs> And I'm Nate. Hello. It is raining cats and dogs out there. Oh, now I've always wondered why people say that, because it's not actually raining cats and dogs. That would be pretty silly. <laughs> <laughs> True. I think it's just a fun way for people to say it's heavy rain. Oh, now Nate knows all about heavy rain and other kinds of weather because he's a weather forecaster. Yeah, it means I study the weather and then tell people what type of weather they can expect. Oh, have you ever seen a weather report on television before? That's what I do. I tell people what the weather's going to be like today or tomorrow or even next week. Yeah, us weather forecasters, we mostly get it right. <laughs> now, he knows all about sunshine and, and rain and wind and cyclones and even thunderstorms. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you name it, Nate knows it. And today, it's thunderstorms with rain and strong, swirly, whirly wind. Mm. My hat. I've spotted something. Hmm. The wind must have blown off my hat. I have a question. Because the wind was strong enough to blow off my hat and it was swirly and whirly, does that mean it was a cyclone? Good question, Mia. And how does a cyclone start? And could we even make our own tiny cyclone? I can help with that. Oh, great! <laughs> Let's investigate. Come on, it's science time. For this experiment, you'll need two empty bottles, a vortex valve, and water. Welcome to the science time lab. Are you ready to experiment? I'm thinking, hmm. If we can get something to whirl and swirl enough, then we will be able to create our own powerful cyclone. Let's begin the experiment. <laughs> so here I have two empty bottles and I just need to fill one up with water just over halfway. I can help with that, Mia. Oh, perfect. Thanks, Nate. Well, let's use this funnel so that we don't spill anything. Good idea. <laughs> All righty, let's go. All right, glug, 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 in goes the water. Oh, about halfway up. Oh, I reckon that's just about perfect. Yeah, I reckon that'll do it. OK, next we need to attach this special lid. Now, this is called a vortex valve, and it basically allows us to twist one bottle onto another. Hmm, interesting that it's called a vortex valve. Mm. That word vortex might become important a little later in the experiment. Oh, Nate, I knew you'd be a great person to do this experiment with. Are you ready for some science? Mia, this is what I live for. Me too! <laughs> Let's experiment! What will we see? Maybe we'll make a discovery. It's time for science. And scientifically, maybe we'll make a discovery. Twisting on the bottles. One above and one below. Let's give it a go. What will we see? You and me. Let's experiment. What will we see? Maybe we'll make a discovery. So let's now put our cyclone in a bottle to the test. OK, here it goes. Hmm. Um, nothing's happening. Maybe it needs just a little swirly swish to get it started. Ooh, OK. Oh, look, it's swirling and whirling and that's a cyclone in a bottle. <laughs> that is exactly what a real cyclone looks like, except this one's much smaller and thankfully trapped inside a bottle. A scientific success, I'd say. Let's see what we've discovered. 
Now, by adding the swirling action, the water is being pushed outwards, which creates a swirly motion. Yeah, you got the push outwards, but then because the bottle's upside down, gravity's pulling the water downwards. The push out and the pull down, well, that makes the vortex, or the cyclone. Oh, so that's why it's called a vortex valve. Exactly. Ah. The vortex is the swirling motion. Mm. You don't need a valve, though, to make a vortex. Mm. Like, have you ever had a hot chocolate and stirred it so quickly that it created a swirling in the cup? Yep, I've done that before. <laughs> oh, that's a vortex. Or when you pull the plug out of your bathtub. Oh, yeah, and the water swirls down the drain. Exactly. It's the exact same thing. Wow, look at our cyclone go. Now, does a cyclone usually start by swirling water? Uh, well, cyclones aren't just made of water. They're actually mostly made of air. But the cyclone whirls and swirls in <laughs> the same way and they even have the same shape. Oh, well, cyclones are so fascinating. <laughs> they are, but also they can be very, very dangerous, mm. Mia. They can have winds so strong they could lift a house off the ground. Ooh, yikes. Okay, so it definitely wasn't a cyclone that blew the hat off my head this morning. No, no. <laughs> I think that was probably just a strong gust of wind. Well, you know what they say about windy days, Nate? What? Great day for a boogie. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you want a boogie with us too? Rolling all around. Oh, wind blows round and round. Whoosh! Flip! Flap! Hear that sound. <laughs> it's the Windy Day Boogie. Whoosh! Flip! Flap! It's the Windy Day Boogie. Hold on to your hat. Oh, there's my hat! Oh, I'll get it. Ah, there we go. Thanks, Nate. No problem, Mia. How good. <laughs> well, you might like to create your own cyclone in a bottle. Or you could try the Windy Day Boogie. Yeah. <laughs> so discover your way with some science time today.